Lord ready with the 2-2. Two -two. So the doubleheader begins with a strikeout. Wind blowing out towards right field as we begin. And that's a swinging strikeout for Plourd. So one look. Great job by the grounds crew here. Sarah Plourd strikes out the side, and that's how we begin things at the top of the first. So the of the new uniforms. Fourth consecutive strikeout by Plourd to begin the game. Blue One and two. That's the fifth consecutive strikeout by Plourd. Check swing, and Hubert could not hold up. Meeks walked and advanced on a sacrifice. And Maine drives one into the alley in right center field. That'll bring in a run. Meeks around to score. Stopping at first is Maine. On her birthday, she picks up an RBI single to plate the first run of the game. For Everett here in the third, the one-two pitch from Plourd. Swing and a miss, went high and tight, cut on and missed, and that's strikeout number six for Plourd. Here's the 0-2 pitch, swing and a miss, strikeout number seven is McCullough's two strikes, two outs. And another strikeout for Sarah Plourd as she strikes out the Dartmouth side here on the top of the third with Plourd. Dusts off the rubber, gets set to deal, here's the 0-2. Swing and a miss, strikeout number nine, so four in a row sent down on strikes by Plourd. Curdy played 23 games away from here. 2-2 pitch, swing and a miss, strikeout number 10 from Sarah Plourd. She's completely abnormal for Sarah to put together a performance like this. Here's the 2-2 pitch, and they ring her up, called strike three, instant dusting, the 1-2. Swing and a miss, another strikeout, so back-to-back -back punch outs by Plourd. She's up to two. You would think. 0-2 <laughs> pitch, swing and a miss, so she strikes out the side here in the fifth Dartman. inning. Third. Dartman still without a hit, and Plourd picks up the strikeout, so McComber unable to get down a bunt. One on, two out. And strikeout number 15 for Sarah Plourd. One and two, and their 16th strikeout begins the top of the seventh inning with a fastball. Ready with a 2-2 pitch. Popped up, could be playable. Catcher Carta. Carta makes the catch. Went down to an E, and that'll end it. The sixth career individual no-hitter for Sarah Plourd. We'll take a look at the final play here on replay. Carta and Rogers both over for him, disappearing into the shadows. Carta makes the underhanded catch. Well, UMass makes one run that came in the bottom of the second inning stand up.